Let's... Alrighty. I forgot Let's that. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're, we're, we're actually live. I think oh, we're we in chat. Thanks, you went to uh, the other chat. So yeah, we're going to go with the other chat. Oh, wow. Well. Wait, what? <laughs> They, they, the they went to the other, yeah. Apparently, of all times. Worst kid. The cola bottles? Those? Oh, the wax I don't ones, like the though. cola bottles. Oh, the happy colas? The wax I don't, ones are. I, I can agree. Yeah. But the Those were gummies? my nephew's, like, most favorite for a while. Or, like, the Krabby Dude. Patty gummies. I don't know if you missed it, but we are live. Yeah. And also, uh, Carmelo Bar is What the hell is the Mary Jane? Right? I don't know, but I also learned about a um baked bean today oh yeah and that was awful that sounds horrible and they're like it's the best thing ever and then i had to go into like all of the things my mom's allergic to but hi oh. everyone on stream hello we're here we were um talking about my great debate of uh at work about candy bars um i'm not gonna even bother asking the question in the chat because i don't want you guys to get hostile because we have a lot of dnd to do and the last thing i need is our chat getting so hostile because we all know milky way is not the number one candy bar but i digress welcome back we left off on a fantastic cliffhanger uh completely done by me because i do that sorry guys you but live anyway, for that shit i do I truly should just be a writer for, like, anime and crap and make it real spicy. But I may or may not be working on my own manga, but eh, that's here nor there. Anyways. <laughs> well, hey, you got the notes if you're writing it about this. No, it's actually about <laughs> something more typical to me. But anyway. Sports anime. Oh, trust. Tentacles. Oh, y'all... Anyways, who wants to do the recap? Does anyone want to do the recap? Uh, who wants it? I'll do part of it, and then uh, I'll probably like throw someone the ball at some point. I was gonna say uh, I have about a page worth of notes run and out if yeah. y'all just want me to read off my notes. No, it's gotta have nah, a let's flavor. do it off of memes. Let's do off of memes. Let's keep it spicy, and then we'll fill in the banks. You mean off the memes? Oh boy, wow! We wow. could do Game Boy memes all day long, and Nick Cage <laughs> memes, ah oh, man, what is this? The Shrek dating simulator? Oh no! <laughs> hey, he's coming back oh. in 2026. Shrek 5. Oh, fuck. oh god. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the same. We might actually oh. have to play that now. And DreamWorks. Re -record it. Just, DreamWorks just released it, so yeah, they just released it on uh, the Insties. Okay. But anyways, so... recap it. Okay, so recap. At one point, um, I, I'm just going to say this now because it immediately caught my eyes when I went back to the notes section. We learned about Sanchi's dad. That's hilarious. That has nothing to do with the timeline of events. I forgot about I, that. It's just, it's just fucking hilarious. Um, but anyways, so we kind of, uh, if I remember correctly, we kind of started off in the um, cells together. Not the, was it the cell block or was it just... Uh... Uh, Tasha came back in and we were told to go to our cells. Yeah, he, we were we all went to our cells and everyone started like talking to their cellmates. Um, Stockin and Wade basically had a conversation of, "Yo, if shit goes awry, you stay out of it, okay? Okay? Okay?" And um, not before yeah, telling, answering me five questions. Yes, which were. I can't tell you. Okay, yeah, damn it. I was really trying there. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. But, <laughs> that, you met a motherfucker. It was not subtle. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he got to tell you five things that only you two could talk about. And because of that, you're going to try to not just keep yourself out of uh, what happened at the end, but everyone else. Good luck. Um, Sachi, as always, gets to just live the high life. Sachi flew back to her cell. I she didn't fly, but I'm saying it. Fuck it. She's tiny and adorable. So she uh she gets back to her cell and notices there's no poopy. And unlike everyone else, is just fine with laying back and ignoring everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. She gets to have a room to herself. And that is, you know what? Good for her. Live her best life. She kills, <laughs> steals feet, and she gets to have naps. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, then, Silas, um, do you want to go over your own part on this one? Because uh, if I remember, we actually had some. I got drugged, and uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, gone. that happened. Yeah, that happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so you got uh, drugged through it, Lyric, and um. So even if I wanted to wake you up, I couldn't because I wasn't awake. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, Lyric and Spears basically had like a whole like buddy buddy thing. Uh, Lyric, it, it went like, oh my god, my sweet cinnamon roll all over Spears, but not in the <laughs> that dirty does way. Not sound good. <laughs> <laughs> not in the dirty no, it way. Does not. He just he just realized that Spears is like a cinnamon roll to him or whatever, uh, because he's a badass and also he's finally like. He put in 2%, okay? That's all Spears has really done. He put in like 2 to 5% of like what a human interaction should be. And Lyric is melting because this is the, how many, I don't know how many years they've all been stuck together, but this is the first interaction they've, like, it's been a week of interactions with these two, and well, it's never I've, happened uh, before. I've been in prison for two years. I don't know about the rest of you. <laughs> oh, I, I don't, I don't know. I gotta ask uh, the DM. But, um, they talk, uh, Lyric says, hey, you get some sleep. I'm going to stand guard. Silas uh, says, dude, you got your ass kicked in his mind. You got to take a nap. And she, like, he doesn't know that she was tricking him. I just know as the player that she wasn't going to wake him up anyways. Yeah. But she didn't get the chance because she was drugged. Yeah. And everyone woke up. And we all had to go to the office where uh, the warden was. She wanted to ask us all who we thought the most dangerous person in the prison was. She went all Netero on us. I can tell and... you the, the five questions she actually asked. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yes. Do that. <laughs> Which are your greatest strengths? Would you remain oh, yes. eh, would you remain loyal to the government? Are you willing to undergo physical and reformation training? Who is the biggest threat in the, the area? And why should we select you for this? were the five questions we were asked. And then and they the also gave us the with. results of our um, exams. Our personality tests. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, to summarize a lot of it, everyone thinks that Tasha, Sanchi, uh, Tasha and Shanchi are dangerous. <laughs> um, a couple of people and had Spears. some extra... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and Spears. And a couple of people were smart enough to look at the warden and say, you motherfucker. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and you, one person Craig said, I, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one, uh, one individual said he didn't give a shit. So uh, yeah, most of the people are smart and there's like a couple of possible, there's one idiot. And um, <laughs> they, they all passed, I think. We don't know because after we got done talking, and everyone went in one at a time, one at a time. Um, I think Sanchi confused the warden the most, by the way. That's not important. I just wanted to throw that out there. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Sanchi was presented. I can't remember where exactly in the episode or if it was in the episode before. The middle But uh, Sanchi was presented information about his dad, to which Sanchi re uh, responded in the most hilarious form of denial I have ever seen. And... Um, yeah, then, then, oh, and what's his name? Shoot, I don't know when this, ha uh, where this falls into this thing, but Connor is all fucked up. He's all fucked up, and he is, he's just ready. He was, he, that happened, ready. like, at the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah, fucked I up in the fight, so that was before we went yeah. to Benibai. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I skipped the beginning a little bit, but, um, Connor is pretty much done. Kipper, if I remember right, is checked out. He he disappeared his from his cell, cell at one point. Cleared. Yeah. Um, didn't he tell his he cellmate? He had a dream about Kipper. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. He didn't um, tell me nothing. He just drugged me, said I'm sorry, and GTF would Yeah. So, like, like, like my dad he's... that tucked me into bed and then went to the corner store for milk and never came back. <laughs> Your dad did that too? <laughs> oh no. So he's either checked out or he's one of them. Uh, who knows? But uh, now we're in the morning. Everyone's in the mess hall. Um, 
we already knew shit was going to go down because Wade had his hair up in a ponytail. You know what that means. He's going to get his face smashed into a table by Tasha. <laughs> and uh, that's where we slept off. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did anyone have anything else? Or are we all feeling good about such a fantastic The short recap? version, yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm feeling good about it, too. Because we <laughs> left off at a pretty intense portion. Because... A recap only a zero can love. True. Oh. Poor, no, poor I Wade just said, so is it safe to say we're no longer in any sort of alliance? And then just bam! Right into the table he goes. And immediately you all are, of course, alerted by such a noise. And I'll drag you all right back to the scene of the crime. And now I go on a nice nice explanation to what happens next so you all hear just crack shatter kind of just it's like booming like for whatever reason this area you've never thought was that echoey before or you never noticed it because it was usually quiet or there was just always ambient noise until now when you finally hear like almost a gunshot level of noise just blast into this room and within seconds of it connor is immediately on the table and going to just fully lay into tasha and at this point they and fall on the did. ground just tasha's like tasha. leg and somehow kicks point, up the bolted the ground, table so now it's tasha... almost blocking your guys's view and wade is just kind of like falling onto the floor kind of like knocked out for uh you know obvious reasons and then you just hear tussling and everything going on and it's like rapid fire how quick this is happening but i can only talk is so fast and from there you hear them um, you see blood just splattering on the ground uh, over the table you see like a bloody hand come up at one point and it's just fighting back back and forth wade finally kind of like wakes up after not even 30 seconds literally 30 milliseconds and from there he like kind of is just sitting there and watching. You guys can't see what's happening behind this table because these tables are huge. They're kind of big and they all are usually bolted to the ground. Can and... I uh, Runs in. if the, uh, the guards are doing anything since I am assuming this is no longer a part of the evaluation? Right. So yeah, definitely make a perception check. Yeah, so you look back at the guards and you notice that like there's really none around at this moment, but you can see, I'll say with a high enough perception, you notice, you can infer that they weren't really paying attention. They were eating their own breakfast, and immediately from there, they then hear everything, and they're, like, trying to get, like, geared back up because they thought crazy. everything was going to be cool. So they're yeah. kind of scrambling to get things going quickly. And I see that Stockin has moved in front of Lyric, so we'll just say I there's sure still, uh, there's still a pumbling uh, occurring. So you guys go. I can yeah. only move thirty feet per turn, so that's where I'm at. That's yep. not true. Uh, um, my Lyric just goes. Oh wait, no, wait. You're right. I actually, hold on. I had I just read true. something. <laughs> you have a bonus action dash, and you're a monk, so you should have at least forty speed, so you can move eighty feet. <laughs> yes, you're right. Um, winning unintentionally, but yes. I literally no just read what, that too. That's Akeen is gonna attempt to either get in front of Lyric or straight up tackle him to the ground. Are you not gonna say anything to the rest of us? Go for it. I'm assuming because everything is going so fast. Yeah, like he is attempting to stop Lyric first. Yeah. And in that in that moment, why the fuck are you all the way over here? <laughs> because he can. Uh, be quite literally. Because, yeah. Uh, we literally just went over it. <laughs> <laughs> but if he tries to stop you, it would be contested. Okay. Yeah. If he steps so, over, we'll, 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 say, back. we'll say you got me like right here. To be yep. Fair. Now, I am attempting to stop you and then I'm also shouting to the others to stay where they are. Lyric, uh, Lyric bumps the chest with you, uh, with Stockin, and says, what the fuck are you getting in my way for? 
Trust me, this is for the best. You don't want to be involved. You don't even know me. And then he just shoves stocking to the side. You <laughs> didn't know me. <laughs> uh, contested strength, please. Okay. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Wait, can I do it with death since I'm punk? No, you're you're trying to push. You're um, not trying to flip over him. <laughs> oh well, that's that's fair. Uh, it would be a strength check, Stockin. Oh, damn it! Oh, oh you're fine, yeah, Lyric. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. You're good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. If I were this, I would be up here. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> All right, so Lyric does actually push you, and you're almost, like, caught off guard. Um, I will say, since you are behind, you would be behind him at that point, and he's leaving your range, or attempting to leave your range, it could be opportunity of attack to attempt to grab oh, him I'm again. Oh, I'm disengage. <laughs> you, yeah, can I attempt to grapple? Yeah. yeah, you can definitely attempt to grapple. What would that do so, that? Uh, I believe that's still strength. Yep, okay. Contested strength. Contested strength. If he's still Wait. trying to get you. Oh. Stockine! Damn it! Oh my God. Like, Stockine, I think strength is actually my one of my lower stats. Well, yeah, oh. Lyric. Wait, lyric is... one. No! Okay. <laughs> no, he doesn't, apparently! <laughs> Holy shit! So, you grapple him to the ground, and you have his legs locked as you're just Fumbling. You two are now fumbling on the ground, having a grand old time. And Damn it, now you first used me as a shield and now you're bottoming me? You fucking asshole. Don't make me have to hurt you. You can hit me the way that I want anyways. And uh can I try to get out of that or should we move to yeah. somebody else? You uh does is anyone else trying to move or are you guys gonna listen to what Stockin said? earlier uh seeing how the guards are fumbling to get together i am going to assume that means this is no longer an accepted action therefore yeah. i am going to stand down i'm gonna fly up all to right. the ceiling for a better view all oh, right my god silith is a pacifist <laughs> i'm not a pacifist <laughs> i just don't feel like getting in trouble for shit yep Stupid so sorry you fly up to see the pumbling, both pumblings occurring, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> happening, but not engaging any of them. Wade will be over here. Mind you, this table is flipped up, so it is not straight down. So pretty much, do, 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 do. can I make a cute, precious cone of like this? Oh, I should have been silly Millie. Here we go. Like this view wise blocked off hopefully that stays for all of you and you can see it but anyways continuing cool so can i say something to stocking yeah go for it okay i'm going to also throw oh man this sucks because i'm gonna uh well it might make this hilarious oh uh, where is persuasion all right so it's still gonna suck it's okay because it was gonna sound like a bad argument anyways maybe Suck in! Get off me! If you let that fucker die over there, who's gonna be on our team? We don't know don't who gets picked out yet, but if one of them dies, we know who it is for sure. He told me it was for the best. Do you trust him to handle the group he knows, or do you want to go in blind? Blind? Do you see what's happening right now? There's They cannot handle it, you stupid fuck. Let us go. And I just continue yeah. to attempt yep. to hold him down. I don't yep. even bother. <laughs> yeah, you guys just keep wrestling, doing your thing for a little bit, because it's also been like three seconds. So yeah. three or four <laughs> seconds. So, again, this is going to sound a lot longer than what's happening. Uh -huh. And at this point, Sanchi, you go up and you notice that like the table gets moved even further closer. So it's a little bit closer now. I'm not going to try to draw it because it's. I don't think I have them as items. I think these are attached to the map. I lied. The table moves <laughs> closer. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at me being a smarter DM in the past. But anyways, the table like gets kicked out and it just like scoots across the floor kind of like uh, like a boulder from, like, Toph in Avatar, when she just, like, huh! And she just, like, moves <laughs> across the ground. <laughs> Very that mentality with this table. 
And then you see Sanji. And you, the rest of you just hear kind of what's going on. But you have, especially you two on the floor, you don't know what the fuck's going on besides a shit's still happening. Beers is just chilling. He's I was just gonna sitting say, there like, with After me looking at the, the guards, and I'm assuming I, he probably also looks. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I was just thinking him. to himself, these plebs. Yep, he's probably. Chilling. He's waiting. <laughs> and you see Connor just being held by the throat, essentially, by Tasha, as he just gets the best way I can describe this launched into the fucking wall. Just fully launched. And you see, like, the wall crumble behind him, full anime style, baby. And <laughs> you just see him, like, kind of, like, sink down to the wall. And he's just, like, losing it. At this point, Tasha walks over to Wade, who's kind of up. He's sitting. He's he's clearly not fully coherent, as he was still trying to get himself together. And at this point, he just grabs a handful of Wade's hair and starts trying to drag him. You know Let's what? see. Fuck it. Let's see. I'll, I'll intervene in the most pacifistic way possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, we'll cut it at when he's, right now, Wade and him are currently struggling, but Wade is obviously losing. Well, so. since the uh, Lyric and Stock Eater are in a hold, uh, can I yeah. speak attack uh, Lyric real quick for reasons? Hey. <laughs> You know what? Go for it. Roll the hit with, I guess, advantage because he's he's a little preoccupied. Do, do, do. The reason oh. why is because now I will use my ability to uh to sixteen hit. I guess would be the first question. Sorry. Uh, sixteen. Let me check. Um. Yes. Are you also squishy? I am not as squishy as I used to be, but pretty squishy. <laughs> okay, and then uh, with that, I get to roll a d6, and a astral projection will appear. We'll say behind Tasha and do one d6 points of damage. All right, go for it. Not much, but I'm not interfering. It's yeah, really it's not much. Mean. He doesn't. <laughs> Feel that fucking thing. also turns his attention to Silith and goes, Don't interfere! Wade told us not to interfere! Fuck you! Distraction. <laughs> also, and what the fuck? Besides, what did I do? Because <laughs> he yep, wanted to see that. Yeah, can I see the astral projection? Well, I'm assuming I'm just telling you because you move this way. And yeah. I'm just assuming... That you're gonna do Did... something versus nothing. You also nothing. saw me bonk Lyric, who you're trying to hold back, so... Yeah, I was about to say, didn't you just see him? <laughs> I just got 10 points of damage. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I just, like, bonked him on the head, like, in. like... Me just bonking him on the head, like, hey, maybe don't fight. Maybe stand back. And also, there's a ghost over there to, to poke him in the side, tickle him a little... <laughs> but essentially what just happened was she came over, assisted you by bonking me on the head, and you're like, don't interfere! <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. Oh, <laughs> I don't blame Sakin for that. He doesn't know where you're interfering. <laughs> yeah, no. True. Yeah. He doesn't know. <laughs> and at this point, as you all are now tussling about, Tasha has successfully gotten Wade all the way up the stairs as they've been just going at fighting and just like fully like the most horrific, not really horrific, but overall someone being dragged up a flight of stairs, trying to fight it very much like Sakura just cut off your damn hair already, but Wade <laughs> won't do it because he has too much pride in his hair. And you hear the cell door slam shut and you hear from there just like the like water gushing out as the sink is ripped off the wall and placed in front of the cell door and just anything that could be thrown in there as you just hear commotion going absolutely bananas in there you can't tell if it's punching you can't tell if it's destroying the cell it is fully dare i say a berserk sort of sound and at that point oh no no guards, no no the finally get their shit together after like Probably now, what I will say overall, a minute of things occurring. They finally get their shit together, 
and they start running in. You see a group of like six run up the stairs. A group of four comes to you guys, all trying to separate you all. They're like, get to the table, get to the table, get down from there. As they look at Sanchi and they're like, get down. <laughs> and Spears <laughs> is just sitting there. No. Connor's out by the wall. <laughs> and at this point, you hear them just trying to get into the cell. They're trying to break into that cell. Do you all, while they're dealing with that up there, do you all separate? from each other i'm gonna go check on connor can i try to head over there yeah, i was gonna say i'd probably go and try and assist connor as well yep so uh, at... i just keep on we... lyric depending yeah. on what he does didn't we get separated they're trying to separate you guys it's... well then in, in yeah. the distraction that they're trying to separate uh i am going to do i um I'm going to elbow stocking in the nose. Roll the hit. <laughs> All right. Um, why the hell Whoa. am I having a brain fart right now? An arm attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, arm attack. Why? Why did I? Every time. I do this every time. You're a monk. Anyways. You're an armed attack sir. Oh, yeah. All your attacks. Does a 17 hit, Stocking? It sure does. Yep, so roll damage for unarmed strike. All right. So you take and... a... Oh, go Can on. Can I do a flurry right now? Uh... Of elbows? Of elbows? Yeah, flurry of elbows. <laughs> um... Explain to me how you're going to do flurry of elbows. <laughs> okay, so basically, and I'm going to uh, after the first elbow, I turn myself around, getting the little uh, action that I okay, getting the little uh, loose. Oh man, there's no way to say this without sounding dirty. Um, when I get myself a little leeway to move after the first elbow, I basically just go elbow, elbow, elbow. <laughs> Okay. Um, I, I can actually probably describe it better. Yeah, yeah okay. like I think so I, I take, I take no, let me do it because I can actually describe okay. it better. First, I, I turn elbow around, I elbow me. him to the I elbow him to the forehead, uh, to the nose when I okay. get my, my motion my free range of motion with the right elbow, if it hits, it's going to be a right crossing elbow to the left temple and then a upwards elbow going for the chin. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, I can believe that. That there sounds believable. So yes, you could do flurry. Can you can you do blues? You can do a flurry of blows. That's two more unarmed strikes. Yep. Uh, boom! Strike number one. Yep, that hit. With four damage. Great. And then <laughs> mm -hmm. number two. I don't know if you rolled your. I'm guessing that damage. doesn't hit. Did you double yeah. the damage? You did yeah, not so we'll do roll eight. damage for the. Yeah. Crit. Oh. Yeah. To roll damage again for that that one. Oh yeah, no, the ten doesn't hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, which one? Do, uh, which one am I rolling for? The double the damage. Crit? You need one oh, more the... damage. I think it's minus one to whatever you roll if you roll it straight though. Okay. Yeah. So do I just hit the one d four bludgeoning again, or yeah? Okay. K six. Yep. Ooh. Is that enough to get him off of me, so I can use my other feet to disengage, or is he still on me? Uh, I, I would. Oh, snap! I have to remember what grappling rules are. Oh no! I believe you can try contest. To... Yeah, do another contested check. Yeah. For a last... Yeah. No, I do think, another. Sh I think if you attack, you lose your opportunity to, to break the to disengage from the grapple. Yeah, because you either yeah. disengage from the grapple or you attack. Also, I think it's yeah. four oh, because okay. you only doubled the dice roll. You don't. Double, yeah. So it's not yeah. six; it's four. That's what I was. Okay. Thinking. Um. Wait. So why did I even roll again? <laughs> You're because at a total of 12 two, damage so far with the, you the things roll that you two rolled. dice. You only rolled one. Oh, damage. okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, the only reason why, uh, thank you for clearing that up. The only reason why I wasn't sure is because I didn't know if I had to do a disengage, if it was like disengaging enough and I clearly didn't know the rules of get happening. Thank you for explaining. Thank you. I was like, oh God, it's been so long since I've had to remember what grappling's like. But Because yeah. normally <laughs> I could disengage after like a flurry yeah. of blows, but if I'm on mm -hmm. the ground being yeah. grappled, it's easy yeah. to argue. Yeah. No, so the, all of that's going on. The guards finally realize that this battle, like the group of four that's near you guys, they break you guys apart, I will say. They they beat your contested strength. Sorry, if you fight, they have tasers. <laughs> so from oh. there, they, oh. they going in. They ain't oh, messing. No. After the karate chop, I will take a step back and be like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They, they like, since try I, to... Yeah, since I... Since he... Did. Senpai karate chop, yeah. Yeah. Really so meme. they get the two of you separated and they like shuffle you to the table and they're like, head down, head down. And like Spears is just sitting there, Silas just staying there. Sanji, did you come down from your <laughs> Me? Oh no, wrong person. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you all come down. At this point, you finally hear them like just bust into the cell. They finally are able, like you see, like tasha come like storming out and he just has like veins veins popping everywhere like this man's looking unhinged, unhinged like he's looking like something is happening and you just see them stab him with like four needles <laughs> and finally he like kind of collapses down and at that point one of the like scrawnier guards like you could tell he's the new kid on the block like it's this probably his like first day they're like, yo, Leon, go get, go get the nurse. And he goes and gets the nurse on his first day of work. Truly tragic. And he goes. Here, I thought you were going to say the new guy was going to be tasked with handcuffing him. And who knows if he's actually. <laughs> oh, no, shoot. No, yeah. it's like <laughs> no, no, no. Hampton, Jesus. Nah, nah. Like typical Leon fashion, they go running away when things happen <laughs> and then fix it down the line. Don't worry, he'll come back at like the final episode and like save y'all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh yes. Let me backflip away from this chainsaw. <laughs> yes! Thank you. <laughs> he has to backflip away from whatever danger is there. <laughs> but anyhow, so Leon goes and takes care of his uh goes and gets the nurse. Uh, they see, like, immediately there's, like, two or three nurses that come out. They all look the exact same, so you can't really tell what's going on. Oh, yeah, um, Nurse Joy, what color are their hats? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's literally just Nurse Joy running out here. And you see them immediately kind of, like, take Connor up to a cell instead, like an empty cell. And then you see Wade get, like, taken in as well. And he's, like, walking still, but he ain't looking good. That's for sure. And at that point, they're like, all right, you all go back to your cells. Go back. Go back. We'll 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 handle it. Go into your cells. And they all just kind of like rush you in there and close the doors. But they, of course, don't do really like they don't lock them, but they do close you in there, at least while in the time being. And at that time, the only one that has a current roommate that's available is Lyric. <laughs> <laughs> Lyric. Or I guess you guys could go all into the same cell. Would you guys like to do that instead? Would you all like to go chill in Sanji's I thought we were cell? prisoners. We don't have an option. Yeah. No, they all just hurry you up to a cell, we'll say. And you all are then in the same cell, which is a little, little crowded. But... We'll say you have two open cells. So you guys have like two that are open and available to you unless you want to go off on your own. But then there's some guards standing up and just like being near you guys, but they're not really listening. They're just making sure you don't leave. So. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and you I will all are in on there. the bottom bunk and uh, stretch myself out backwards. Like when people sit upside down on the couch. I'm yeah. Stretch it back out that way. Yep. So go wherever you would like to be cell wise um, on your guises one through four, but hey, uh... Sanchi. <laughs> <laughs> Sanchi put him with you, <laughs> with her, <laughs> with you, <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> the gal pals. <laughs> We're gonna stay here. <laughs> I mean, we went through the questioning. It's not like they finalized anything. That was probably a waiting area for the next step, and now everything's going to be delayed. 
<laughs> and yet things are being delayed. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Stockin, do you go and join the conversation? Or do you stay no. off in your room? Okay. I'm in my room. Okay. My cell. Sounds what? Right. You're going to be pouting? No. <laughs> no. Stockin. He's just kind of hanging out. Stockin don't want nothing to do with it anybody right now especially okay. lyric <laughs> yeah how's it nose yeah hey look i still threw you a <laughs> to attack sanchi yeah. yeah you so, go yeah i'll take that as revenge <laughs> also my apologies lyric uh I don't know why I'm going to Irish instead of German today. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, well, character. Getting like Rufy changed your whole ethnicity. Apparently, <laughs> other um. Oh. Just toot me a light. Uh, I should not have hit you. I uh, spiritually, uh, just a little hit for for the big guy. It only activates if you I didn't, hit anyone else. What do you mean? You didn't hit Stalking. You, you hit me. I know I hit you, and I also hit Tasha. Oh. I can do right, that from 30 feet away. That is why I hit you, and I apologize for doing so. It is the easiest way to assist without breaking uh, waves. Or that too. <laughs> but I would like to well, apologize. Look, you don't really need to apologize to me. I'm alive. I'm going to be alive when I wake up. Well, yes, but it was up. violence for no reason, which is the type of violence I hate. No, you had a reason. You thought something was wrong back there. You decided what was yeah. right in the moment, and you did it. That's what That's I was still. doing. That's what Stockin was doing, even though he's a rat bastard. I hope you heard that. He like look. He puts his face to the bars and like looks over. Then he looks back towards Silas' cell and says, the only person here who did unnecessary violence was that beefy bitch. He's the only one that needs to pay for it. Beefy bitch. I do not disagree. I know the other two probably started it, but I mean, fuck it. I mean, words are words. It is... Usually not uh, requiring physical violence in response to words. It just shows he cannot control anything nor talk anything out. Well, I mean, I'm off of punches, but there's a point where you've got to stop. If you're not paid to do it, then why do it? If you're not defending I mean... somebody, if you're not trying to protect or being paid to do something that horrible. I mean, it looked like more or less... Wade was like, hey, are we still boyfriends? And he's like, fuck no. So, Wait, uh... Boyfriends? He, he said, are we still in an alliance? And Tasha's response was to bash his face in. That is Wait, not... Being in, being in an alliance means you're in a relationship? Does that mean I'm technically dating all of you? <laughs> no, no, no. Spears, I'm like, down. looks, like, very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so looks very just platonic, uh, the platonic friend relationship you can have more than romantic relations what does platonic mean friends <laughs> friends we have a relationship as friends my mother and I have a relationship as family yeah, I just didn't know what platonic meant. Platonic means without fucking, I guess. So just like everything else? <laughs> friends. Not friends with benefits. Friends. <laughs> That's a really good name for that term. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that before. That's genius. <laughs> But anyways, I'm not mad at you. I'm not even mad at Stalking, bitch. But, um, I mean, 
at least you did something. Sound sheet didn't even do something. He was I observing. Think. She was observing. But sound sheet. But what? Quick question, guys. Didn't they say that they were gonna make us a team, but we only have this room for eight or so? I mean, yeah, we do no. not know the results. We do not yep. know what it, it happened. It won't matter what the results are if one of them others. dies tonight. I mean... My only guess for why Kipper left was to prevent unnecessary violence, which could potentially leave one of us dead, if he did not believe that Seven could defeat one. Therefore, if Tasha gets kicked out, potentially that means Kipper would be back in instead of forfeiting his spot. Wait, where's Kipper? Gone. Did you kill him? No. I could not oh. wake you up because I was not awake because of him. So you couldn't beat Kipper? Uh, not when drugs are involved from behind. So where's Kipper? Exactly, I do not know. <laughs> mm, he's on the list. And uh, Lyric just goes back, uh, walks to the back of his cell and starts doing stretches. Pierce just kind of like watches him walk by. <laughs> he just like kind of looks out. He just goes back to like his usual looking and chilling, not talking. He kind of wanders over to Stockine for a minute and he like knocks on the bars. And he looks in. Stakim, what are you doing right now? I'm just laying on the bed, staring up at the ceiling, kind of twiddling my thumbs a bit. So he just walks over kind of awkwardly into your cell without... Your cell? Really... Yeah. No, we're not okay. locked in. Yeah, we're not locked in. So he walks over. There's just guards making sure that y'all don't leave. <laughs> and he walks in and he just like, like you hear him like click open something and you notice he just has an exorbitant amount of a med kit and he just like kind of looks back at you as you look at him and he looks at you and you look at and him I look at him <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at me <laughs> he looks at you looking at you Damn, your ruby did i give you a band-aid for your head bog <laughs> <laughs> and at this point he like kind of looks he's like and he, like you look like you could tell he's about to say something but he's like not saying anything because he's never talked to you before directly <laughs> and he's just like <laughs> looking at you like real awkwardly and he's like um, what are uh, you doing and he just like lifts up his med kit onto the bed and then he like kind of like steps away and he's just like, I use it quite often and it helps with stopping, you know, the blood and such that's coming out of your now possibly broken nose. Right. Um, thanks. Just return it when done. As he's just like creeping out of the room <laughs> like he's just being like so sketchy and awkward <laughs> he's just like uh-huh okay and then he just leaves just fully walks off and goes back into the room did i hear that yes he wasn't like he okay. was talking quietly but you at least saw him like leave and stuff when he comes back in Lyric's still stretching, doesn't uh, look over at Spears. He just says, I told you you're a good guy, Spears. You just, and like, he, see him, like, stretching. shiver. <laughs> I, see, I see him shiver? Yeah, he What's shivers. That What's that about? Did, did I do something wrong? You <laughs> thought we weren't in a platonic relationship? What? No, I, Lyric gets 
beat red for the first time ever when talking about this stuff. He has never felt embarrassed, be- embarrassment like this before. I, I, I um, oh, well, I mean, I, I did. And then uh, she just, she just confused me because I didn't know what, um, I didn't know what she was talking. I, I was educated with by a monk tribe. <laughs> and I ran away from home young. I, I'm sorry if I'm, um, if, if, like, I mean, it's not that you're not attractive, because you want, yeah, I should shut up. <laughs> Lyric just stretches and, and, and like, Spears, I, um, you, you, you don't, you don't gotta worry about me, I'm sorry. <laughs> just no <watch> stretching. <laughs> Anybody avoids doing any bending stretching in front of Spears because he's afraid to make him feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and he just like curls up into his bed with this blanket and just rolls over. So just uncomfortable. He's just like, I don't know what's going on. And so he just like chills. Uh, I feel like Sayleth needs to go steal the dictionary she's been studying. <laughs> And with this, like a few moments go by or so, a couple minutes. Oh my god. And you hear like the nurses kind of just like they're like, stop moving, Connor. <laughs> you just hear them like <laughs> fussing with him and everything. <laughs> and okay, from there, cool. you the nurses finally leave and they like they kind of like shout over, like, do you guys need anything? And like synchronicity. Alcohol. <laughs> For the love of fucking God, just please a drop. Wrong type of alcohol. They don't have that type will... of alcohol. All types of alcohol. Any no, get not... it from them. You do not need a isopropyl. Isopropyl bad. What? <laughs> I don't want an ice to poo poo. I want <laughs> liquor. I want wine. I want booze. Something. Then Anything. clarify that next time. Isopropyl alcohol for wound. Not. I'll not drink that just... too. <sighs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Look, yeah, it's yeah. been it's been years, and I haven't had a single drop. I need this. Surprised you haven't tried to make it yourself and yourself. <laughs> Do you have any grapes? Do we have and any grapes? Just leave. To the <laughs> <laughs> and they just leave. <laughs> they just finally leave, and Connor and Wade like come stumbling out, and they go back down to the tables, and they start like fixing up the room. They start fixing the table. They shift it back to you know, where it should be. I forgot to drag <laughs> y'all there with me. No, I didn't. I agree y'all there. Oh, no, yeah, smart. we're there. I was smart. I knew what I was doing. And they just kind of sit back at the table that they were at and just, like, fought all over. And they're taking, like, some extra wipes and stuff. And they're just, like, cleaning up the blood. <laughs> and, like, the wall is just, like, kind of, like, dented inward of, like, crumbling stone. And it's just, you know, impact. Eh. They can't fix that. So they ain't worried about that. And <laughs> they just like try to clean up the <laughs> stones. Like Connor's like just sitting there as Wade's like wiping stuff down and whatnot. What do you all do? Sakeen, um, after returning the med kit to uh what's the Spears, he was gonna go check out and see if Connor was okay anyway. So he's just gonna go over to the table and see what's up. And I guess also Wade's there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's done. <laughs> Did he's anyone alive. <laughs> anyone else want to come join the table beforehand, or are y'all just lyric? Are you trying to? It's... All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll show us. I'll show us Sachin and Spears. I will go over with this group because. Diplomacy. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're going to cut to Lyric, Spears, and Sanchi, who are all sitting so close to Spears. <laughs> yeah, really. How uncomfortable is he oh, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so wait, over real quick. This is the common room, right? Yeah. Is my dictionary still in here? 
<laughs> you like do a perception check or an investigation. I want my, I want my goddamn dictionary. <laughs> investigation. Let's yeah, let's do an investigation uh, since you're I actively looking. Uh, you find it. You see it just tucked under, like you see it like slid under one of the like bathroom like kitch. I don't want to say kitchenette, but like the little like bathroom metal stands that you guys have hooked under the walls. You see it just like slid under one of those in one of the now empty stalls. So you can go and like cool. reach gonna... <laughs> in. I would like to open it to the page that says platonic. Drop it off to Lear. Be like, <laughs> how, how my comment is very good. <laughs> then go enjoy <laughs> sucking. <laughs> As she leaves in a very faint voice, Lyric just looks down and goes, Hold on, I want to make sure I'm pronouncing something right. But I only know how to read Cory and Dwarven. <laughs> <laughs> but you know Cory, you speak common. You should be I lived in a, I, I lived in a mixed vi uh, mixed yeah. <laughs> monk village and I was raised by an <laughs> Alistar mom true. and a Dwarven stepdad. <laughs> true, true, true. I, um, I mean, I'll teach you later. <laughs> I will teach you later. Oh my, God. my monastery was very big on education. <laughs> You notice you gotta Lears remember, just my looks... character has an intelligence of negative something. You <laughs> should just even more uncomfortable. Like, not even uncomfortable, he's just bewildered at this point. He's like, you don't know how to read? <laughs> Common? I mean, if you think I knew how to read, do you think I'd ever be on a mission with that scary, uh, wonderful Sanchi next to you? Lyric remembers <laughs> the promise he made. That terrifyingly <laughs> awesome! <laughs> <laughs> The hellion. Say again. Uh, Spears uh, just looks more bewildered at you. Like you worked with someone that can't read common. Well, he only needed. Well, he really only needed me for. Oh, basically, I was just I was just a foot soldier with him, and I well, not foot soldier. What the hell would we call us when we're in the thieves' guild? Thieves, just uh, Fair. Wow, that's the first time I've ever heard you actually say something like that about yourself. Wow, that does make sense. Oh. Mm, well, I just kind of. Well, I wound up in jail by fighting someone over at that table, and uh, outside of that, I just go work. I work when I need money, and that's about it. I don't really do extra work if I don't need it. Pay by the job, go to the next one. That's why I chose bounty hunter. And occasionally you can't works read. with people. You're a bounty hunter who can't <laughs> read. You can't read your bounties. <laughs> dwarves, dwarves can put out bounties, and also I, I would have help every now and again. Why do you think I went to the thieves' guild? I needed help. It, it's a very easy to find a bounty from someone that wants to steal shit. That's why you need to read. <laughs> Is he also not good at math? You know what? Apparently I'm over here. I'm not in this group. I'm apparently <laughs> arguing about literacy. And I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm also doing like little side comments to lyrics. So apparently I'm not with the other group. <laughs> All right. Uh, look, it's it's not that, that bad. Plenty of people go without learning how to read. Have you guys never been to the slums? Have you never actually been to like a tribe like mine that wanders outside of the technological. Well, actually, the technology is pretty fucking sweet. Makes Bia really cool. Well, my mother was originally nomadic, and then we joined the original monastery. But again, my monastery was very big on education. But we were just big on living life. It very much reminds me of my mother's upbringing, which, uh, at some point, you and I need to talk about that. But now may not be the time. Wait, why would we need to talk about it? Uh, 
Because I have a feeling I know what's coming, because history may not repeat, but it rhymes. If I were to say this is deja vu, it means it's you and I are going history. to go through... Hmm? Uh, Lyric looks back oh. to Spears, who is, in his mind, one of the two smartest people he knows, the other one being in front of him, but she said the smart thing. Um, what rhymes with history? Spears, please help. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce just like looks at him. He's like, I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> and he turns to Sanchi and he goes, Can you really believe that he That's talked he about? <laughs> can you truly believe that Kipper talked about chess for four hours? Don't remind me. <laughs> How do you not pay attention to things? That happened when we stole that guy. Well, when you stole that guy's feet. I thought you were observant. Uh, it wasn't metaphors. He was talking about the craftsmanship of said pieces and how it was originally created. I'm pretty sure half of it was complete under bollocks, but... It was boring as hell as what it was. The real question is, how did he get that information? Oh. I thought he was talking about a game. He couldn't have read it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you made a bow out of... <laughs> He made a bow and arrow out of nothing. I'm pretty sure he could find a way to write something down. Hmm. He just gets silent and he sits. As you all... Or Sanchi, what did you have to say to Spears, I guess? <laughs> Those Mets? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, <laughs> definitely a Phillies fan this year. Looking uh -huh. good. Only if you're you know, missing that out one on guy. the Brewers, though. Absolutely not, because I'm waiting for a tragic event to occur so that way Castellanos can finally be useful again. But oh no, that's fair. Actually, Castellanos <laughs> is fucking great. Anyway, <laughs> only when tragic events happen. <laughs> not true. I've never heard of such a thing. This must be a. Uh... I hate how a much I know about sport. this. I don't want to know about this. What have I become? First it was football, and now it's this. Then, <laughs> but anyways. Um, no. So anyhow. No, so Spears just like he's like, what'd you say to be Sanchi? <laughs> Crazy yeah. week we're having. Ah, yes. Hmm. Hopefully it's greener on the other side. So coming over to Stockheen. <laughs> you okay. walk over to Wade, just like cleaning the table, like he's like a distressed housewife before guests come over. And Connor's just like laying with his head on the table. <laughs> like he is like full heads up, seven up stance. Like oh he's just laying there with his just, yep. Oh, not conked out, but just there. And Wade looks up and he goes, Hello. Feeling a little rough, are we? What the hell happened? Um, first, thank you for not interfering. I would not want anyone to get, you know, in harm's way of that. And he, like, tries to smile, but he's just like, ow. <laughs> it, yeah, no. Told you I make good on my promises. It, and you, like, you could tell he's struggling to find words to explain what just happened. He's like, it's complex. Far more than I let on. And the less I explain, you know, kind of. And Connor just lifts his head. He's like, Wade, we all know that he's just fucked in the head. He's been possessive since day one. It's very clear as day. 
He wanted you. He couldn't have you. He threw a little piss fit and then decided to control and ruin all of our lives in here. Well, it was survival of the fittest. Who cares? Simple as that. He was pissed off at me. He took it out on you. He took it out on everyone. He was mad that he didn't get to kill you in the fight like he did everyone else because he just really hates me. Remember? And like, Wade's just like, can we, can we not? Like, like, he's trying to stop him. He's like, no, let him know. He wants to know. Tasha's clearly out of here at this point. There's no way he's like staying with this mess. Did you see him? He was crazy. He's changed. He used to get upset before, but it wasn't to that level, Wade. We all know it wasn't to that level. That level was not even human. You can't do that to a wall and be just fine. We saw him squish someone else's head to a table and it was watermelon central. You've ever seen a watermelon, Wade? Somehow your head wasn't like that, which means he didn't want to kill you. If he wanted to, he would have. And yet he didn't in this moment because since day one, you were his little bitch. And he's all upset about it. Simple as that. He hates me because I flirted with one of his wives. And so since day one, he's hated me. But like they say, keep your enemies close, right? And Wade just like stands there like awkwardly with his cute little like bloody towel like in his hand. Like he just got scolded by his mother. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just standing there and he's just like, and he just does a long sigh. Bakin just kind of looks between the two of them. And he turns to his attention to Connor, and he's just like, you really think that's all this is? With Tasha? Absolutely. Since day one. I've known it. Wade? And Wade just, like, looks over, and you could just tell on his face. You don't even gotta do an insight check. He looks so <laughs> guilty. <laughs> he's like, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot deeper than most of us put on i didn't have any connections to him beforehand but connor did and then connor's also you know in ties with the other one over there but you know where That's... is he gesture he gestures over like slightly like kind of like his head over to like spears's direction He's like, but that's not my business. And I kind of just look at Connor and I'm like, Spears and you? Spears and anyone? And Come Spears on. looks over and he's just like, oh no, he did it. He finally oh. told them. Oh no. And he like gets up. He's like, one moment, you all. As he like leaves from another chess conversation, because he's know. still debating that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure that out. Of like of like why why was he talking about chess for so many hours? <laughs> <laughs> he comes over and Connor just like puts a hand on his shoulder and he's like, I got him out though, don't worry. I, I did it, right? And like Spears just like shrugs him off. He's like yeah, thanks. Don't don't bring up our convert. Like, don't don't talk about our connection. Don't. They don't need to know that. What do you mean we don't need to know? And like he just looks shocked. He goes, "My mom was married to Tasha. Oh. This man broke up our family, and then Tasha killed my mom." And then I got charged with Connor. Of, well, Connor got out of it, but I got charged with accessory to murder. And you don't want the connection to be found out because... Who would want to be connected to Tasha like that? He was my stepdad. The last thing I want to be known for is having a weakness and daddy issues. I suppose that's fair, but it seems like out of everything that's going on here, that seems to be the least of your concerns, let alone everybody else's concerns, if they really 
aren't out for telenovela drama and bullshit. Hence why I didn't want it out. Mm-hmm. I guess I can see your point. Well, it's not like I'm going to tell anybody. And Connor You're just, just lucky I'm not lyric. Uh, and just like shiver. <laughs> he just shivers. <laughs> he's just like, I don't know who's worse at this point. And lyric like, just gets a sad feeling suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> he just immediately starts frowning and goes, oh. <laughs> like, he has no stinks. idea why. <laughs> And he, like, leaves, and then Connor's like, anything else you would like to know? Well, I guess, really, if the two of you are all right, um, I, I mean, Wade, I guess I kind of owe you for forewarning me, and Connor, uh, you're a part of his group. I guess so that's putting you in the direct line of fire why if you were a part of all that and stocking kind of gestures back to Spears mm -hmm. why would Tasha want you close that doesn't and stocking just kind of scratches his head he doesn't understand people it it's very similar to like hyenas i guess you have a pack and you want those who are strong he knew i was strong before getting in tosh it wasn't tasha's first rodeo in prison shocking i know but it wasn't he knew how it worked he was at the bottom of the chain before he didn't want to be there again so he got the strongest that he saw Wade was already here at that point and was, you know, doing his thing. And Tasha is possessive. And all the bolts don't fit with the screws. Bada bing, bada boom. He chose his group. And he knew ultimately that in his eyes, he helped me get out of the murder charge. When I really had nothing to do with it, but, you know, I was just sleazy. Was not a platonic relationship, as we've all learned. <laughs> <laughs> the theme of the night, platonic relationship. But, no. Word of the day, platonic. <laughs> platonic. <laughs> but, no. What does that mean? In short, he just wanted me around because I was strong. He didn't care. He knew he could get me in here longer, and he figured, you know, I was stuck with him already. And I stayed because I felt guilty about what happened. I guess that makes just about as much sense as anything in here. We and... just kind of stands there, and he's like, yeah. And he just kind of looks at the two of them and goes, well, I guess I'm a Glad you're both all right. And he takes the rag from Wade, tells him to sit, and then Stockine in turn just starts cleaning up the table. And then Connor like stands and he goes, So did anyone else, like he shouts over, he's like, Did anyone else have questions or can we finally start saying congratulations for making it out of this damn place, huh? Can, can we do it now? Can we We're the only ones here. We're the only ones in this room. They want an eight, I do not see eight. I see seven. Yeah, and we don't know if Kippa or Tasha's going to be the ones that come through the door, and I would love to see both. Nah, I ain't pressed. I don't think Kippa is around. What do you mean by that? Didn't he leave? Yes, but we do not know why. I mean, that sounds like a lot of not my problem, and I'm ready to go take a shower and celebrate. <laughs> I'm making it out of here. Uh, 
Yeah. Also, if they, any of them could still come back in the room. I am. Are you told they're not against throwing us back in cells? I live. If we got the welcome wagon, I will celebrate with you. Listen, I got thrown into a wall and I survived off of a maniac. I'm gonna yeah, go celebrate. How the hell did you do that? Don't know. I got lucky, homie. Take some classes with me sometime. And like, Wade just kind of like follows him, and he's like, "A shower sounds really good." So I'm gonna go take a shower. Shower. Uh, Parentheses. uh, Like, does the hand parentheses? Like, and Connor's like, "No, no, 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 no. That's not (laughs) happening today. (laughs) No, 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 no. And not just that. I wouldn't invite all of you to come with us to celebrate if we were doing this. (laughs) Wait, (laughs) wait, just is like." Yeah, no, no. I'm like a one person, maybe two at max. Like, no, 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 no. Oh, there's <laughs> no, a second. No, no orgies for Wade. I am the general person, so. <laughs> but there's a second seat involved. <laughs> and oh like, God. so like both of them just start headed to the door. They knock on it. The guards are like, yeah, they're like, yo, can we like go shower? And they're like, and the guards just like look at each other and they're like, why not? As like, there's also still plumbers upstairs trying to get the water fixed from that. Oh, of course, there's plumbers going to that <laughs> scene. <laughs> They're going up there to fix the green pipes or whatever. So from there, they all go, and whoever wants to go have a celebratory like shower and like stereotypical hoorah of like having games of not dropping the soap and such, uh, be my guest. Um, nothing escondolo is happening, so do not fear. But you know. And then they look so they over... gendered bathrooms out of curiosity. Yes, they are. There okay. are gendered Maybe bathrooms. For Twitch. <laughs> yes. I was gonna say, because Silas not shy. I was just yeah. curious if there were gendered Yes, there is. <laughs> nah, That's exactly why bathroom. they would enforce it. <laughs> exactly. So anyhow, they all leave. And uh, at that point, you all, like, you know, do whatever you want to do for the night. Spears does not go with on the celebratory shower. Um, He goes back to the room and goes to sleep. (laughs) And from there, who all is going to the celebratory shower party? (laughs) No. Okay. So those three go. The rest of y'all can stay in your cells and chill or go wherever you want. But the rest of the night... That. I was say, if people aren't quite around, I think I'll go approach Lyric then. Yeah. So at that point, they go. You could see the guards like, can you all roll perception checks for me? Even the ones leaving to the, to the shower party. The shower party. <laughs> yep. Hey. Nice, nice. I'm liking the all of this. one time I'll get in there. <laughs> I feel so bad that y'all are getting such good rolls on such a silly thing I'm about to say. Lyric, oh you God. too. I... There you go. Four. Oh. Uh, Lyric, you don't yeah, notice all it. Right. You're the only one. Um, Everyone else, y'all smell like a buffet of fucking food being made. A whole buffet. Like, y'all smell smell the works you even smell like some pulled pork and stuff like they're they're going in so he used a 20 on that yep (laughs) (laughs) and with that silith you're gonna go talk to lyric because says because spears is just gonna go in his room he's just if there's no one around yes i would like to to talk to lyric stockin where are you going um I suppose I stay behind and also talk to Lyric. Just All right, the point. <laughs> yep. Fine. All right, y'all have fun. <laughs> <laughs> talk to Lyric. <laughs> I feel like a Sims character. The man on the planet right now. I feel like a Sims character, and everyone's trying to talk to me. <laughs> well, you just start this freaking year, out. Ah. I am specifically going to do a mind link. <laughs> so to... you just get to sit there to, to Lyric. So you get to third wheel without even hearing the third wheel conversation. 
Okay, I'm going to still attempt Don't just come to... two people staring at each other. <laughs> I mean, that's what you think. It could be I'm attempting to talk to Lyric, you're attempting to talk to Lyric, and we just both confuse him. <laughs> that is That is cool. probably going to happen at least once. <laughs> <laughs> Why not now? Yeah. <laughs> So, well, you attempt to mind link, I guess. I'm also going up, and I'm just like, what? He's real awkward, so he's kind of scratching the back of his head. And he's just like, I'm sorry I had to do what I did. I kind of promised Wade, after he gave me a favor, that... Depending on what would happen, because he knew Tasha was pissed that we wouldn't get involved. And I'm assuming he was trying to protect us, so I had to make good on it. And unfortunately, you were the only one that moved. Uh, Lyric, the entire time, was looking at Stocking with that... Um, oh, if Stocking was talking, I would talking. Uh, so. So, like the cocky little shit look where they lean their chin against their knuckles and then lean their head back towards the rest of their hand while uh, counting with his fingers on the table. And when Stocking uh, finishes, he puts his hands down and says, Look, man, I woke up today. Yesterday is forgiven. I don't give a shit about any of that. Besides, I got you in the nose. Felt better about what happened the other day. And. Oh, that's fair. What, uh, and Wade and Connor are both alive, so I can't fault you. You got out on the technicality. Day turned over and they both lived. And besides, we're in prison. We get to punch each other sometimes. It's pretty neat. We can avoid it. I think it'd be best if we try not to hurt each other or rather right. and also listen to each other i guess um oh, that's if we're going to, to go out time. into the outside world it might be for the best to actually try to be a team i got no problem with that uh, as uh Soilithia and i guess everybody else found out i've actually had to kind of rely on team for most of my life yeah, I heard you don't know how to read. Who the fuck told you? You were a little... Looks that stylist. <laughs> <laughs> I will teach you. I have no problem. Uh, look, and by the way, I can read. I just can't read common, all right? It wasn't my first language. I mean, if you can read core, I can teach you common. Yes, I do. All dwarven. Which, by oh, the way, Corvin. somehow know, easier than common. I know. Quarai, Celestial, Abyssal, and Common. I don't even know what one of those meant. The language of ang angels and demons. I speak oh, both. Oh, so myths. Well, I guess if that makes sense, uh, Lyric, if you really want to learn all the languages, I can teach you Primordial. That would be a fun one. <laughs> I'd like to learn common, but I think I'll stick it to that. I'm going to be honest with you. I I would um I would rather focus my efforts on learning the common language and bettering myself martially. It's the least I can do, otherwise I'm just going to be a bait most of the time, I believe. Well, then I can at least try to help you with the other thing Getting you're physical. trying. Uh... And he just kind of looks down at the ground. Not like that. Don't be like Wade. We already have one of him. Don't make him. Uh, that's hotic. You know. <laughs> and he just kind of. Stockin looks at Silas and he's just like, "Yes, that. Do you know what that means?" I do now. I guess. You made it made it awkward last night. By the way, I I uh, I think I undid so much so many years of work. Um, anyways, um, was there more that you wanted to say? No, I guess that was basically it. If we're going to be a team outside of this cell, 
we might as well work together, and it starts by apologizing to you, and, uh, I guess trying to work at, and he stumbles on his words, because he recognizes how weird he is with people, trying uh, to be better at this relationship Rick? thing. Platonic. Rick? Yes. Rick quickly Platonic. reaches out to stocking. Uh, looking directly at where he's reaching, he pinches stocking's nipple. <clears throat> and then he says, lighten up, buddy. If we all on a team, then you're going to be hearing me a uh, you're going to be asking me to apologize a lot more than you're going to apologize to me. I'm kind of an asshole. It's part of my charm. I'd like to think. Mm -hmm. And besides, uh, if we're going to be teamed up with the bird, I might need somebody, uh, I mean, Sanchi. If, we, if we're teaming up with Sanchi, it'll be good to have one monster that can stop her if needed, possibly. That was Lyric basically telling uh, Stocking, yeah, he thinks you're a beast. Kicked his ass twice now. Well, technically. Stocking, well, I got a question I, for you. Yes, that's nice, but I don't think she's the one we have to worry about. Only if the Were other one you... doesn't come back. And he turns to Silith, because he, over that, heard Silith kind of say something. What did you say? I have a question for you. Okay. Do he and I look like siblings? What? <laughs> and he, Stocking kind of squints a little bit. He's like, no, not really. You're kind of small and he's not uh i guess you could maybe it's the eyes but no next question do you know what makes us different from normal humans i didn't think you were humans but okay no i mean well, out of the pointy ears no i mean i only have pointy ears because my dad is a half elf then what's your excuse? And he looks at Lyric. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm full on Alish. Yeah. Alish. Alishar. Alishar. Okay, sorry. I don't know why my brain is having trouble remembering the camp, but I'm full Alishar. My mother was named. My mother's name is. And I guess this is going to answer your question. But my ne mother's name is uh, Zephyr Starfell, and my father's name. I'm totally not looking in my backstory right now. Nope, that is not <laughs> what's happening. Uh, I may have gone too far. Shit. <laughs> oh, Rizlik. Um, and my father's name was Rizlik Starfell. Oh, no, not Starfell. I, he, he's not, I do not carry his name. He's a bastard, and I wish to kill him. I have some potentially good news. But anyways, my first question. Biologically, you and I are no different from humans. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't. I figured the whole lack of... I figured the whole lack of... Uh, what was the world you told me about? That dream thing? Uh, the yeah. dream realm? Yes. We are... Yeah. We essentially we have actually... an extra soul. But physically, we are no different from humans. The only way you can tell, and this is why most monks learn to control their emotions, is under intense emotions, our eyes glow. That is the only difference between us and humans physically. Mm. And it's the only way to tell if you are a Kalishtar. No, I see. I would have thought the whole uh, being able to what does it communicate with the dream realm? Or like the astral versions of us? Uh, well, we are... We cannot communicate with the dream realm. Our souls are that, that of dreams. We cannot hmm. go there anymore. And 
I meant you had mentioned you felt bad for not being able to dream. Did you know it's the almost the same reason why elves cannot dream? They're also I disconnected. Didn't know that they couldn't. They cannot. They don't have to sleep though, which is one thing my father has that I am quite jealous of. That's elves don't that's sleep. Neat. Elves don't sleep. Hmm. Oh, learn something new every day. Interesting. But um, so before you continue on with whatever the hell you're saying, enough suspense. What are your parents' names? I don't actually. <sighs> My mother was actually a semi-famous musician. Her name was Snow Petal. Uh, All right. We're not siblings, hopefully. No. Maybe. No, <laughs> my father is a half-elf. He is not Kalistar. Good. It'd be really awkward if I hit on you a lot already. <laughs> no, just usually Kalistar are not always pale, blue-eyed, and white-ish hair. I was just curious. Really? I really only knew me and my mother in the tribe on, and wandering peace. Uh, Kalishtar are descendants of 64 different humans. Of that, there are several different skin colors and such. Uh, no, the reason why I ask is I have a feeling once upon a time, two of the original Kalishtar were twins, and we look very similar, and usually Kalishtar take after their same gendered parents as Cory can only be passed from same gender to same gender. And the reason why I say your father may be dead is when someone in our lineage dies, our connection to the Cory gets stronger. If you recently started seeing yours, someone in your lineage has passed away. Zeke's eyes start to glow a little. <laughs> He's not thinking about his dad. I I apologize if I had offended. I just it did not seem oh. like this information would have been relayed. No. It it um I only know two of my family members directly. Well it would be and our I wouldn't family. say I know one of them very So much. that could be your father, your father's father, an uncle, or a brother. Could have potentially passed recently. Would my mother be an option no. in that? You do not share right. Kalistar with your mother. Have you heard of the the phenomenon twin telepathy? She's the wait, hold on. In my backstory, she actually is Kalistar. <laughs> like she's the one that taught me what I do know. I just didn't no. I wasn't very good at picking it up though. So I picked up Dwarven instead. I mean, most Kalishtar still, we have much of the same training, as the original 64 were part of the same monk temple that I was born at. Many of the teachings are passed down. Mm. Many nomadic tribes uh, started because there was a agreement that every 100 years they would try and find one person of each lineage to go and be more or less missionaries, go spread the word, go share peace, for lack of a better word, with everyone else. That was the start to so, the, the nomadic tribes. So would, uh, would wandering around and protecting people as they travel count as something that a peaceful one of us would do? Yes. I mean, she killed when she needed to, but only when she needed to, if it was life or death. Yes. Hmm. I was going to say, there are usually two paths from the original branches of our tradition. There is the path of light, which tends to be more pacifistic, which believes you make the world better by doing better. The Watchers of Shadows believe in fighting any bad thing that comes across your way. If that requires killing, then it requires killing. Mm. Well, if I had to say, uh, the Wandering Peace was something in between, really. I, um, we had a, a wandering, uh, the Wandering Peace was made up of many races, many people, and 
we just said live life every day celebrate at the end if you're still alive forgive what happened the previous day we fought to protect wanderers homeless or just travelers that didn't want to tra take vehicles and we partied we partied a lot <laughs> I mean, but we did feel when we needed to uh, like I said, my mother was originally part of a uh, traveling, more nomadic tribe. And it was pretty similar, except she usually used songs to try and make people feel happier or comforted. Uh, this is where uh, Silith will do a mind link with Lyric, specifically. And uh, we'll allow him to, <laughs> to chat back. Uh, and you have a lot of the same mannerisms as my mother, which has me concerned. And what is that? He says this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hmm? <sighs> I am using my link so we do not have any eavesdroppers. <laughs> Ignore what I just said. And he's just like, uh, they're just slowly, <laughs> they're just head, big, wide eyed to Stockin when he says that. So obvious. Stockin just kind of looks at the two of them and is just like, all right. And walks away. <laughs> I'll see the two of you later. <laughs> and leaves. So, my mom. You can get physical. What? Oh. Oh, I was talking to him. But, um. <laughs> no, my mother was nomadic. Uh, she had, well, originally, and this is why I say history may not repeat, but it rhymes. I cannot remember what the original crime was, but somehow my mother got thrown in a jail, was offered the opportunity to become a government experiment in exchange for her freedom. Uh, and during that time, she had a severe drinking problem, a severe sex problem, uh, didn't particularly care about her life, and her quora got out of control and more or less made her go mad. Part of that was because the experiments done on her were using dead people's body parts and uh, putting them in her. Mm. We are... Uh been, we have been chosen for experimental. It could easily I mean, fuck up our quarry. Well, I mean, anything could happen. And But I'd want to correct something. And he actually, like, points at her when he says this in, uh, in the mind. Mm -hmm. I, I do care about my life. It's just that I don't care if it ends. We all die. That's it. There's no fight in it. So you just accept it. That's what I mean when I say uh, the wandering peace. You know, we lived every day. My mother said, my mother created the um, the tribe basically as a way to give people a place to go and live as they are, so long as they don't hurt anyone. And if we survive, we partied, we got stupid. And the next day, whatever happened, say what he fought, say a stranger did something rude, didn't matter. Because we at least made it. It can't all be bad. When you live like that, you're free. No one can really hold me down. I might be in this prison, and he, like, opens up his arms. But I'm, I'm breathing. Every now and again, I can punch something. And I might be getting an education soon. The reason what part why, of me is being held down? The reason why I want to bring this up, and at this point, this is probably the first time you've actually seen Silas' eyes glow. Her, my mother's cry got so bad, it caused her so much grief, she asked me to murder her. And that is what I did. That is why I am not home. I do not want to go through that path. No. I got the... Uh, and at this point, her eyes stopped glowing. I got this way because more or less the Thieves' Guilds 
it's financial slavery. I don't want to do jobs that require human trafficking or murder. So they give me shit jobs. And then because I turned down too many jobs requiring murder, uh, they gave me a bad hit to teach me a lesson. And then they also told them that I am an illegal immigrant without papers. You know, I'm not loyal to them like Sonchi. If you want, I can whack some of them off for you. <sighs> that would just cause more problems. Again, unnecessary <laughs> violence. I will find a way to make money, and it sounds like I might have been placed here for this because of them anyways. Well then, I'll make a similar agreement to you that I made to Spears. I'm going to punch people that deserve to be punched for you, even if you don't want to. And you can stop me if you need to. I'm also, not afraid of punching people. I simply do not like murder. When it comes mm, to killing a Kalishtar, you can feel when they die. It is not a pleasant feeling. Not going to argue that. But I do have to, to say, if it was my father that died, it will be kind of a bummer that I didn't get to do it. If you practice speaking to your quarry, and many times, what I do is I meditate for before bed, I will have memories of other lives. Not quite dreams, but the closest we can get. And hmm. you might be able to find your answer that way. So if it turns out like I was your mom or something, you're not going to get weird, are you? What? I was your mom? <laughs> like, you said I have a lot of mannerisms with your mom. You are not my mother. You just remind me of her. Well, if it, well, if it makes you feel any better, we, we may sound alike, but I enjoy everything I do. I'm not do, having the sex because I... You know, she enjoyed it. So I'm, I'm, doing, I'm having the sex because I'm not having the sex because I can't get any. <laughs> well, here I will tell you one other thing. If you want to weaken your Kalish Shark connection, if you want to weaken your connection with Quora, have many boy children. Uh, what, hold on. What are you proposing here? Ah, da, 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 I am not. I am not. <laughs> I was about to say, I am not I ready not. for that kind of commitment, and I do not know you like that. Thank you. And he crosses his arms and looks away. <laughs> I have taken a vow of celibacy. That is my sister's job to have many children, not mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> he looks at her. Uh, you're celibate. Yes. I'm Rather sorry. Platonic. And he just like he puts his. He puts his hands on his, his hand on his chest and looks down genuinely sad for her. <laughs> it is my choice. I don't know why you are upset. Because it's good. <laughs> I didn't say I was a virgin. I just said I was celibate. So it was bad. And he like he bows down sad again <laughs> with his hand <laughs> on his chest. <sighs> I did not say but, uh, that either. <laughs> I respect your decision, but I could never do walk your path, your very mighty path. <laughs> like, put his hand on his shoulder, like this is such a huge deal. <laughs> I am not asking you to. Do not worry. But it is simply, I do not want to pass my memories on. I do not want to pass on the memories of my mother's death. Therefore, I will not have children. Well, that's something that we can agree on. I never intend to myself. I am just saying, I'm... if you want to weaken your connection, I will say at some point this got, came into a, like an actual normal conversation. Yeah. <laughs> probably after talking about my mother, I probably ended the mind link. Okay. Yeah. Like, I do not plan on telling anyone else that I killed my mom. That's absolutely fair that's <laughs> <laughs> like the whole celibacy conversation could be <laughs> that's that's uh, in the open <laughs> I don't care about that yeah no, the so... last thing oh. oh yeah go on no you're uh, good uh, the last thing that he's gonna say to her is um 
thanks for sharing, by the way. And um, yep. if you ever want to talk about what it is you're looking for, just let me know, all right? Much like you, at this point, I am free. I live my days my days and my life to the fullest. I do not necessarily care about yesterday. It's already we have a done. very Don't similar Yeah, we, we have a very similar philosophy there. And just anyways, as, like, like, I was like, like anyways, the group seems back. <laughs> so like it's almost like poetically perfect as soon as like the three come back from the shower, they all smell like mega squeaky clean and just super smelly goods we'll just say it's floral for whatever reason and spheres comes down because you all then just hear like two tables of like buffets like wheeling in and you see the warden kind of walk in and as the two tables of food are like we'll say this is one this is the other We'll just, you know, now that I know I can move these tables because I'm a dummy and forgot that I placed them this way. You know, imagine their buffet tables. <laughs> From there, they uh, walk in with all this food, which you can only surmise is a good thing. And she's like, you all can sit down. It's okay. Lyric, we'll Silas, we'll on the ground. <laughs> okay, would you guys like to sit? Fine, I will go over <laughs> here and then sit crisscross applesauce on the ground. <laughs> okay, she's like, wherever you guys want to sit, be my guest. You can calm down now. I know it's been a eventful evening or day, morning or so. I'm pleased to announce that all seven of you were selected. While originally the task force is that they were planning to make were going to be two groups of four. Seeing what had occurred, you all will now be acting, I guess, as one group of seven. Congratulations. And, like, Connor claps, like, obnoxiously <laughs> loud. And he's just like, I told y'all! <laughs> we did it! I know you all have Hello, a clap. Yep. I well, am that. aware that the food won't be enough or that you all have several questions. Many I cannot answer. But I know one question is in regards to what you knew as Kipper. I do have some information on that. The most I'm able to share at this time is his name was most certainly not Kipper. And turns out he was much more important than we expected. But other than that, he did break out last night. We Fucking did not wild. allow him to. It was not us releasing him from this or any of that nature. But he broke out. That is not for me to explain. That is for oh, your... Jealous. Well, like I said, I know what is going on, but I am not allowed to say anything. As your new higher-ups are going to say quite often to you all, it's classified. But tonight is about a celebration of rejoicing for those issues in regards to Tasha that is still being determined Question. as of his current standing with everything. Yes. Lyric is literally like a five-year-old. He's raising his hand, like twiddling his arm. Can, um... Is there any possibility that he's going to be walking with us someday? That is not in my hands. Currently, he is in a confined cell. 
and we've already notified your upcoming commanders and majors of everything that had occurred here today, what's happened so far, and they're determining on what they're going to do. It sounds like as of this time, you all will not be directly with him, but that's not my decision on what they decide to do. Because originally he was, you know, a part of the eight that made it through. What would you have done if nine had made it through? Would have been eight is the number they wanted. Mm -hmm. There was additional testing that was supposed to occur, but due to the violence that came from Tasha, things kind of didn't go as planned. Was it my plan? I told them, but they didn't listen. Typical your future commander and major, more so the major, with her. I will let her introduce herself. Tomorrow, when you all leave to go to the facility, today is your last day here. Congratulations. You're welcome. Glad it was all of you. If you have any other questions, or would you like to get on in? Are we... Is this group going to have anything to do with the Project Egg that was on the news a few days ago? I have no idea. The most I know is that you all are... Yeah, you can definitely incite that. And she's going to continue saying, the most I know is that you guys have a month of training up ahead of you. You could tell she knows more. She knows more okay. than she's letting on, but she's not... You can tell she's not being malicious withholding okay. the information. She's not doing it to be just, you know, ooh, spooky warden. <laughs> no, she's doing it because she's she's being held against her will of saying it. She's like, the most I am allowed to disclose, I should say. While I do know more, what I am allowed to disclose and have been instructed to disclose is that you all will have they already have schedules of what you will be doing for the first month. They, tomorrow, from my understanding, you all will get... It won't be the most luxurious ride, but you will be leaving the building in the back of one of the cart, in the back of one of the trucks. And from there, you all will then be transferred to Base 2, as they call it. And at that point, you will be greeted by com the commander, who will then get to show you around. From my understanding, they usually are pretty welcoming of new recruits and such. And from there, they will then tell you kind of what the rest of their plan is. But I know they have training courses already for you, as we spoke the other morning. What exactly will the training courses, I guess, have for us? Will they play to our strength or weaknesses, or is it just an overall training course? And she, like, kind of pauses for a minute. And she's like, by the way, you all are able to, like, get up and eat. You don't have to wait for me to be done talking. And you just see Connor and, like, Wade get up as they're still listening because they're not being, like, savages about it. But, you know, <laughs> you can get your food and sit back down. They don't want it to get cold. <laughs> and they're just like, and she's just like, if I was, no, I can't speak like that. And you could almost just, like, you could tell there's, like, a lingering resentment with who she's actively trying to avoid saying. She goes, Hmm. unfortunate she'll probably do a little bit of both as much as an unsatisfying unsatisfy answer as that is if it was me I would be playing into your strengths 
but I know the major you're going under. And she very much likes well rounded individuals. It just comes I with see. her training. So it'll be a I little bit of everything. Me. Things are tailored to, she wants to make sure your weaknesses are not as vulnerable. So she's going to bulk those up. But overall, if she could play into the strengths, she will. Hmm. And at this point, stocking gets up and also goes to eat. Easy. Same with you. Yep. I have another question. Mm-hmm. Sanchi won the battle, but I do not know if she got her prize. <laughs> what? Right, there would be I'm a reward for the victory. Dying. I'd recall that. I was just curious what the reward for winning was. They evaluated on that. That's not much of a reward. <laughs> Well, and with that, she'll get up to go grab. A yeah, <laughs> she just kind of like shrugs her shoulders. She's like, "I just work here. <laughs> I just work here. This what is not." What is it? <laughs> I do, but where you guys are going is above me. So, there, there uh, raises his hand again while ha uh, there's like a bit fork with a little bit of food in his mouth. <laughs> She nods her head as she's like, she's pulled up a chair. She has brought her own chair and she's just like <laughs> sitting down. Yes. Uh, there swallows his food. Are you single? <laughs> she just like looks at you long pause. She goes, I don't believe that's relevant. Mm. Am I going to get my necklace back? <laughs> what? Am I going to get my necklace back? Oh. As for all your personal belongings, they've already requested everything to be sent over, so it will be in your guys' new quarters. Awesome. And are you sure? He, like, tries to give her a smolder. <laughs> <laughs> sure about... How relevant my question was. Very much so. Fair enough. Continues to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else have any other questions? Sounds good. You all have fun. And she stands up and leaves and then some guards just like chill and also eat as well. And they like, one of them looks up, he's like, you're not going to kill us, are you? I mean, who's asking? I am. Um... Are you asking me to kill him and points at the other one? <laughs> the I, other one I... just doesn't eat. He's like, I'll watch your back, man. <laughs> <laughs> Leon's just like, I'll watch your back. Don't worry, man. I'm just fucking with you. I'm not going to have to kill anybody. Aww. It is a celebration, right? It's not, not another fight. Exactly. Food. Please. And they, they start digging in and they sit at a different table. Well, Leon and I don't know, we'll just say like Miguel or something. What type of food Miguel. Is <laughs> 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 I think that's the other guy's name, right? That his name. Leon and Miguel. Is that right? Is it, it is, it is. It is yeah, name, yeah, it's like I'm like yeah, I, sure. I, I was like, wait, what are you talking? Oh yeah, duh, Leon, Miguel, Resident Evil Four. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So they're over there eating. Oh, you made Leon such a quivering wuss. <laughs> I know. He's such a K-pop stan. This is before he went yeah. to the police. <laughs> he had to do his prison sentence to become buff and a K-pop star. But anyway. <laughs> so from there, at this point, you all are eating and chilling and Connor is just like, y'all had so many questions. How do you think of those things? I'm horny. <laughs> oh. 
just fist bumps. Uh, <laughs> fist bumps back. Hey. hey. Real Rage. recognized real. Spears just feels so of... uncomfortable. It reminds me of stories my mother used to tell. Lord. Go on. I don't know. Just like any other childhood story, it reminds me of stories my mother used to tell, and I was simply curious and asked the questions I asked my mother when she told those stories, but she would always say, I'll tell you when you're older. So I'm older now and figured I would ask. Gives a sly little look like <laughs> fully <laughs> popping out of her ass. <laughs> Spears there just like chuckles. <laughs> uh, he just goes back to eating. What was I just talking about? <laughs> 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 like, what the hell? But, uh, yeah, no, and then Connor and Wade are just, like, talking about nonsense. And then, you know, they try to talk with Sanchi about their nonsense. <laughs> They're like, do you think we're going to be, like, free-free? Or still, like, not free-free? Or is it going to be, like, schooled again? Uh, like Connor takes a long time to think yeah I guess have you ever heard what it's like to be in a military uh, no we will, we will probably have barracks that we're all staying together Uh, we will probably have training together besides when we're on mission we will probably be able to do whatever we want Hmm. But probably have to return at night to the barracks or what have you, would be my guess. Wade turns. He's like, I don't know. Stockin, do you know anything? Hmm. Yeah, what side that is pretty much correct, I guess, if we're doing army nonsense. But... For these guys, I can't imagine it would be nearly as nice. And then Stockin just kind of goes back to eating. I have a feeling they will want to keep an eye on their toys. Agree. Be surprised. Stocking mumbles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like like Spears just kind of like peeps up for me. He's like, I genuinely think this is I don't think we're going to, like, normal military level. We're going to base two. Have you guys ever driven past base two? I've never driven. Nope. Yeah, so base two is, like, big. The only thing above it is base one. I, I still am not quite sure how, confused. how the military yeah. structure here is. Well... For. So, from what I understand, is there's bases we have up to like four on egg itself, but ultimately, the lower the number, the more important it is. So, if we're not on four or three, being on one is as they always deemed it when I was in school, at least, is classified. So, nothing gets out of that, that's fully locked down. Unless, you know, you were in there. But after that, base two was always, you know, the one that most people wanted to get into, but genuinely has the most mystery around it, in my opinion. Because three and four are mainly just... Three, from my understanding, is mostly just the police, kind of like upper police investigator stuff. And then four is just common military. Two's in that weird itchy spot. So I don't think it's just going to be standard run around with boots on for a little bit. Oh, no. I don't Maybe think we're going to. training, but I don't think the training's going to be normal training. I would be willing Same. to spend money on that. Hmm. Hey, Spears. Yeah. You're finally gonna get be able to sleep normally. You have six at least six people 
at least five people that you trust to watch your back now. Well, at least that should if they're smart. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting nice. more so to figure out what they do with Tasha. Yeah, what are you going to do if they end up putting him down or something? I mean, your gaze was affixed to him for quite some time. Mm. At this point, I, if from what the warden said was they are evaluating him. So they're even trying to figure out what they want to do. But if it's base two, then who knows what the hell's going on in that building. They have use for a monster. It's just whether or not they can keep him on a leash. Exactly. But nah, it's a pretty uh, massive building to say the least. But guess we'll find out in the morning. It's a sight to see if you've never seen it. I but... didn't really travel much from the Thieves Guild. To where jobs were. Mm. I have no idea if I've passed it before. Yeah. We didn't do that too well, did we? I, I meant here. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, you all eat and have a fun, beautiful last night in your little sail blocks. Question. Do they have yeah. any instruments available here? Or no? Servants? Instruments! Oh, instruments. <laughs> <laughs> servants. I heard servants, too. <laughs> we call them interns now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, that's the odd, right? <laughs> yeah, poor Leon. Poor Leon and Miguel. <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> Bless they try them. So hard. They're doing their best. Yep. Doing. I know with the, the giant feast, if there were any instruments around, but I know it had to uh, clean. No. Nope. <laughs> just just the food is what they gave. There was little cupcakes, too. So they, they went cupcakes. in. Cupcakes! Yay! Yep. <laughs> they gave little cupcakes. I was going to scrape <laughs> off the frosting of every cupcake before eating it. That's fair. <laughs> you know what? I Teach can see it. Own. Do it as you wish. <laughs> I will not stop the. Also, she definitely did not have a uh, well balanced meal even after the warden's suggestion. I can't even be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> she she didn't care. She left before fully like examining. Yeah. It's not her job anymore. Nope. And with that, you all go honk shoe in whatever little cell you want to be in, essentially. Because besides, you know, being you know. Then we wake up with bags <laughs> over our head. Get to the back of the car. <laughs> no, not that crazy. Um, but you guys do wake up. And fun. no, cr well, no we crazy wake up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <That's tough. laughs> I know, you guys have just a nice, forgiven. peaceful sleep slumber you know you hear the same hum of the lights and all of you feel a sense of like odd sentimental value that you're not going to hear this hum hopefully ever again hopefully you're not in this prison cell again but you all just realize like this is the last time i'm waking up in here and seeing spears already awake and like ready <laughs> to go and packed for you and then da, 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 da. And then at that point, you all like hear the guards kind of like come in and they're just like, good morning, morning, morning. Um, they like come in and they bring in like little like pre-packed breakfasts. He's like, make sure you all finish your breakfast, use restroom, do what you got to do. I'm and then we're getting up. Whatever slop. <laughs> hey, mom. Like you open it and you already see that there's slop in it. Yes. My and it's like they they knew they knew what was up and everyone else has like a normal standard <laughs> breakfast <laughs> and, <laughs> and from there you all eat you do your thing you get ready is there anything that you all are wanting to do in particular beforehand 
Uh, uh. Akeem goes up to Wade, and he mm -hmm. goes, No funny business, okay? I think we're... We should be done with that, right? Absolutely. Okay. And he, like, smiles a little bit, and he's like, I don't think I'm going to have a chance to do anything anyways. Sounds like they have us packed tight. Mm -hmm. Seems like it. And Stacking just kind of walks down to breakfast. All righty. And you all eat. Is there anyone else? Uh, Lyric looks to Spears and, sit and just says, it. Hey, um, I know we're not going to have to stay in the same cell anymore, but uh, it was a good time, and once we're out of here, I still got you back anytime. Platonically, of course. And he, like, turns beet red and looks away a little bit. <laughs> he just, like, la <laughs> like chuckles at this point. It's just like, all right, man. Good luck out there. And then he just, like, continues, like, kind of packing up the small little things that he has, which is genuinely nothing. He's just packing up, like, papers. <laughs> Rick smiles and says, I got you on my team. I don't need too much luck. And he walks out back down to the hall with his with his stuff, which also isn't much. Do we have our stuff that um they promised us right now? No, you do not. Oh, that was okay. all then, shipped yeah. to the facility. Then, yeah, yeah, all Eric really has is the clothes on his back, so he just goes. Yep. Sanchi, is there anything you would like to do before leaving? Though you have no roommate? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, wait, no I one's thought, asking I thought him about... for a roommate. Nobody's asking about shithead to any of the guards? <laughs> they, 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 we really don't care about this? Wait, do I hear <laughs> you ask that out loud? Are you saying that out loud? Cause I, no, I'm I, out that's out of character. Oh, okay. I, I'm vaguely curious, but I also just kind of assumed he was easy pickings. <laughs> He's just digging sandcastles and they chop his head off. <laughs> yes, that's, that is what I'm assuming more or less happened. You hear a little scary. voice in the background. Finally, he's dead! <laughs> <laughs> and you no just more! Hear We're down maniacal laughing. Dead. And the flames of hell from no, pissed off I'm Franklin. Pissed off Franklin. <laughs> I feel like you for our season recap songs, hey, yeah. it's Franklin. <laughs> like real demonic tones. Yeah. <laughs> like... But uh, yeah, no. So in short, uh, definitely for our season recap, we're gonna have to, uh, or I guess more so epilogue. Is it epilogue first or prologue? I feel like it's prologue. Epilogue. Epilogue. Epilogue is the afterwards There's... and prologue yeah. is the before time. Yeah, so it sounds like we're, for our little epilogue ending, we're going to just have to have a mem memoriam for pissed off Franklin shithead, <laughs> the whole kilo, all those that we've lost. Who did Sachi just <laughs> Mario. murder out of nowhere? Oh yeah, Kermit. <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> Poor Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> he didn't even see it coming. Nope. No. We'll, we'll be First sure to add that in. Way to go. Yep. But don't worry. So you all get, like, you notice that they do still, I hate to say shackle you up, but they do. And they load you all up into the truck. And inside the truck, in the black right corner, there's a very tall from floor to ceiling metal, like, box essentially and there's like oh. holes at the top like kind of bigger holes um I not like... who that is yep you can definitely uh <laughs> look inside Kermit. the holes if you want or step on tippy toes to try to see if you would like um i mm. won't stop you i'm gonna just knock on this uh on the whole box non-stop mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right why are you antagonizing him? It, Lyric looks at Stockton. Knock. 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 <laughs> knock. Wade kind of just like looks in and then he just like kind of looks back at you and he goes, Oh boy. And he just sits down. <laughs> and he's just like, All right. And with that, there's also a guard in there with you guys, of course. Is the guard he... stopping him? 
Oh no. And poor little Leon's like, hey. Could you... <laughs> hey, listen. listen. <laughs> could you like not do that? It'd be great. Please. Lyric, Lyric, okay, thanks. Lyric moves, moves his body slowly, slowly, with unbreaking eye contact, looking at Leon. And then he knees the box. <laughs> it's okay. We and, and pranked him. <laughs> he just like oh. sighs. <laughs> He's like, it's, it's just annoying to hear. <laughs> How many tranquilizers well, that's, that's did you use to take that down? You don't want to know. Also, can you get me one? No. <laughs> I can't. Oh. It might what if stop I stop the knocking if you do? Yeah, I could, I could do it until I stop misbehaving if you knock, 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 knock. <laughs> <sighs> he just, like, sighs. He just holds his little gun. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> there he goes to sleep. He's sick of this shit. He's so he doesn't done even already. fight it. He's so done already. So wimpy. Wimpy Leon. But anyhow. Oh, you guys one of those? I don't know. I just started yesterday. And yet they put you with us. Oh. Six. <laughs> Justice, don't they? You could be our eighth. We don't need this guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's just oh, so God. sad. And God. as you all start to drive away, it's a nice normal drive. You uh, have no windows, sorry, so you can't really see anything. And as you all travel, come to a stop, the back of the truck opens and immediately... You all don't really get to see much of what's in front of you or the building, but you all just see like a giant, another giant buff guy. He looks significantly different though, no worries. Mm -hmm. But he just like walks in and you look kind of past him and you see like kind of the entryway. You see a giant number two on it. And overall, you see just rows of soldiers with their little guns and everything, you know, you know, soldiery things. And he walks in and you all are still shackled and he walks up to all of you and he looks at Lyric and he just like kind of grabs his chin and moves his head a little bit. He sighs. He's like, all right, get him out, Leon. And he like leaves. <laughs> and from there, he's just like, oh, God. And you all step out of the van and you are greeted with what will be your new home for the next month. And that is where we end tonight's session. And the epilogue is, this, like, Hunger is Games done. Arena, though? It, looks, he, he, he. it looks like... You uh, mean the prologue here. is done? Prologue, whichever one. I'll remember it one day. Hey. I get them backwards. In short, to put a token to where you guys are. It looks like it's good. You have finished the tutorial. Robot. Congratulations. Y'all are and right. Now we're here. Here. And so you see that too, and this is a giant building as a warning. Yeah. But yeah, this is where you guys are for the next month or so of your oh. training at least. Yay! And the prologue is done. Woo! We did it! Round of applause, everyone. You survived. Clap, clap, I would have thought plot armor existed. But, <laughs> kidding. Y'all were just really smart. But anyhow, <laughs> next session now comes down to we can either talk about epilogue or prologue, or we could have a session and go right into it. I will leave it all up to y'all. To I decide, whichever y'all want. Let's get but, down to business. Sounds good. Defeat the hunt. Yes, defeat Ooh. another another thing. Do the other thing. But defeat. No worries. Y'all did it, and on the twenty third, we will see you all again. For mm -hmm. some great D and D times, cause holy cannoli, it is now time for Act One. <laughs> Act One. Act One. Act One. But thankfully, 
this is not the last time you get to hear my voice this week as <laughs> me and ATP have a fantastic time with berating our skulls to meet our desk as we uh. get so annoyed at asking people questions and Dr. Decker. But it's a fun time. And we're getting near the end, I imagine. So, and then after that, we'll jump back into some nice, light, and fun Hot the Full Boyfriend. And you know. Completionist! Whatnot. We're completing runs. But yeah, <laughs> other than that, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow, and then we'll tell you what you have to look forward to the rest of the week, which means you have oh, to yeah. be there tomorrow. Sorry. Follow all of our socials as well. I made some really good art the past two weeks. Just to toot my own horn. And uh, look out for some new additional art coming out soon. Because you all know what's up once we finish a whole season. Or the first kind of arc. Arc. New art. Woo! But anyways, new have clothes. fun. We'll see you all soon. Toot-toot! Bye! Bye! Bye.